This guy again? All he does is look at MTG stocks and just names the top 15 cards. That's not even research. What a loser. <laughs> Mom, is there any more macaroni and cheese in the fridge? Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope your day is going well so far. I wanted to obviously go over some more market movers here for January 22nd, 2021. And it looks like there is more reserve list buyouts happening. So we do have some reserve list cards on the list here today. I mean, I'm sure that's not a surprise to everyone here. But there's also some call time cards that are actually on this list today. So it is getting a little bit more diversified, but we're expecting to see a little more, bit more uh, Kaldheim cards as the set gets closer and closer to release. So we are going to start off today's list here with number 15, Kobolds of Kirkheap. This is a Legends card, and this is up 48% from $3.36 to $4.99. And this is a zero mana spell, so that might be one of the reasons why. Winter Orb Revised Edition, this is up 48% from $13.27 to $19.74. And uh, just like a lot of revised cards recently, it looks like it's a place where people wanted to park their money instead of unlimited, so it's cheaper. Youthful Valkyrie, this is up 52% from $3.14 to $4.80. So this is uh, up almost over 200% from just a week ago. And it's a great card for Angel Tribal decks, and as you have more Angels on the battlefield, you just keep giving them plus one, plus one. And that can be great, especially with tokens alongside them. We have Phyrexian Portal here from Alliances. This is at 59% from $3.13 to $5. And this is our first reserve list card on the list here today. And uh, it's not a surprise that it's getting bought out because Alliances, you know, is one of the cheaper sets to go for when you're looking for reserve list cards and people want to find little cards in those sets to buy out. Meditate, another reserve list card. This is up 64% from $9.13 to $14.99. Now, it's a great card because you can skip your turn and draw four cards. So in Commander, especially when you don't really need to have a turn, you just want to get card draw. Perfect card to play, but it's also reserve list. Aku Jin, this is from Visions. This is up 65% from $2.41 to $3.99. Very cheap alternative if you're looking for buy lists, you know, uh, reserve list, buyouts. Look at, like, some of these are really, really cheap. So they look like a really viable pickup for some people. Another revised reserve list card. This is up 62% from $2.96 to $5. And again, cheap reserve list cards look to be the focus right now since a lot of those other more viable options are already being bought up at rates too high for your average consumer. And this is up 80%. Mindstone from $9.39 to $16.99. And this is at a new all-time high, but it's it's hit that over that $10 threshold now, so it's not that viable of an option for cheap buyouts. Gushda's Scepter. This is up 110% from $9.40 to $19.77, and this has also broken that $10 barrier as the reserveless buyouts continue. Sacramancy. This is a Tempest card and a reverse reserveless card. Oh my goodness. Up 123% from $6.49 to $14.49. So again, all those cheap reserveless cards now are looking to get bought out. And this is on the list for that as well. Royal Assassin, not a reserveless card. This is up 128% from $10.18 to $23.25. Now, this is a revised card, so there's a lot of copies out there on the market. I don't know if I'd be paying this premium right now for it. But you have to remember, though, this is a very iconic card. Mystic Reflection from Kaldheim. This is up 183% from $5.99 to $17. Now, will this price hold? Uh, this is a new card from Kaldheim. It's hard to say right now, but this is based on a lot of it on pre-release pricing from stores. And uh, I don't think it's going to be holding a $70 price tag, so I'll wait for a pullback if you're looking to buy into it. Cosmos Elixir from Kaldheim. This is up 200%. From $1.99 to $5.98. Now, this is a great artifact for Commander. And at the beginning of your end step, draw a card if you have life totals greater than your starting life total. Otherwise, you gain two life. So any sort of like triggers that you may have on the battlefield uh, where you get tokens or you get any sort of thing off of your abilities from life gain, well, this will trigger that, right? So every single turn, you're triggering something on the battlefield and you may be getting tokens or replacing something. Certland Elementist. This is up 253% from $3.29 to $11.64. Now, this is a great giant card. It's an 8-8 body, but whenever it attacks, 
you get to play an instant or sorcery card without paying its mana cost from your hand. So great for Commander, especially if you have a high casting card. You can just cast it for free every time you attack, and you don't have to risk too much because you do have an 8-8 body attacking. Martin Stormgald. Stromgald from Ice Age. This is a reserveless card up 391%. From seven dollars to thirty-four forty-three. Now this is a legend as well, so uh, I don't know if this is, would be. I don't think this would be a really good card to have as a commander, but it is nonetheless a legend. And again, a lot of these cards that are on the reserve list buyouts th this time look to be really cheap cards uh, that people just want to put their money into anything reserve list right now. So today's biggest loser of the day. Now this is obviously based on percentage loss, and this card is Cosmic Intervention. And this is down 85% from $36.06 to $5.21. Now, this is one of the Commander cards. So this is not from the actual set. This is from the Commander block uh, that they have along with your sets now. Uh, you know, the ones that replace the Planeswalker decks, which also replace the intro decks. So this is uh, not that much of a surprise. Uh, $36 is obviously... <laughs> A l too much for a, something that you get in a pre basically a pre-constructed kit. All right, my final thoughts on this market. So it looks like cheap reserveless cards are, continue to be the main focus, but it's good to see some call time cards on there. It's nice to th see things uh, mix up a bit. Uh, I'm hoping these buyouts stop before the release of call time, and they could because usually when the focus shifts from viable, good, playable collectible reserve list cards to cheap, not so good quality, uh, and j they're just reserve list, and it seems like people who either don't know too much about magic, they see reserve list, they look for places to invest, and they don't like a lot of the newer cards that are coming out because, you know, when it, everything's a collectible, nothing is a collectible, and they have too many options for cards to choose, and they don't know where to put their money to collect, and they just see reserve list, and they buy it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you again tomorrow for another Market Movers. And again, I hope you guys have a great day.